Hi, I just want to give you a very quick demo of Paraview. Hit close. Um, I'm going to go to the file icon and open up a example file. This is the head sq.vti file, which basically consists of a volume of data for uh, a head data set. Uh, when you first uh, apply the data set uh, to Paraview, it draws a bounding box around the data set, which um, you know, doesn't really help you too much. So let's try and make a very simple volume visualization of it. So what I can do is I can go down to representation right here, and I can select instead of outline, I can select volume. So when you do that, it's gonna pop up this box and the reason it's saying this is because it takes a lot of processing power to render uh, large volumes, and they just want to make sure you want to actually do that. Fortunately, computers are pretty fast today, and you can actually render uh, volumes pretty quickly. So here you have a volume of the a data set. You can clearly see something's going on there. There's some blue fuzz around the central head. So the volume of data actually spans the entire uh, block, like as if it were a paraffin block. So let's change the color map a little bit. And to do that, I brought up the color editor uh, or the color map editor. And we can change the, the uh, opacity of the color map by clicking on and creating one of the control points and moving it around. And as you can see, what that says is that any value of about 755 is going to be very, very transparent. And so this little scalar chart basically shows you that uh, values between zero and about a thousand are roughly bluish. And now as I drag this control point up to the top, the image becomes more opaque. If I bring it back down, it becomes more transparent. Um, I can also create a contour. So right now I'm going to go click right there for contour and it's going to make a contour of the actual data set. So click on contour, make it visible. And as you can see, it's created a something called a isosurface of the data set. And to, to create an isosurface, you have, you have to set an isosurface value or a threshold value. Um, if I click 800 and hit apply, you can see we're only showing uh, data values of 800 within the data set. So you're creating a contour, a 3D contour of of uh, 800. I can hit 1000 and it changes that threshold, that isosurface value to 1000 or 1500 in this case. Hit apply and you can start seeing more of the skull uh, when you do that. Uh, you can also bump that up back to like 2047 um, and hit apply again and you can see even more detail. Now this data set, uh, the values go from 0 to 4095 so you can go all the way up to there if you want. Um, so now let's add another contour. This contour again should be a child of the head SQL data set. So I'm going to right click, add filter, favorites, and then alphabetical, and then look for contour. And here it is, contour again. Now it's created a second contour, which is actually the same as the first one. So you probably won't notice a difference. Now I'm going to turn it on. And this time, I'm going to change that threshold to 800, apply it. And now you're going to be able to see two contours at the same time, one outside the other. Now we can be a little more fancy. Uh, that contour is colored by the color chart that we used earlier, but we can make that, that surface a solid color if we wanted to. So I just clicked on solid color and now I can pick a color, you know, um, something, I don't know, maybe more skin tone-ish. Um, okay, maybe, maybe this is a little bit too bright for skin tone, um, but that's okay for demo purposes. Now I can slide the opacity slider and you can see I'm gonna make it a little more transparent. And so by making this more transparent, the outer shell becomes uh, more transparent allowing you to see the inner isosurface shell, the bones, basically. I can also turn back the entire volume visualization. So now you've got two or three visualizations going on at the same time. 
And so that's a quick introduction to Paraview.